My name is James Aurelio and uh, I served my country in the United States Air Force for seven years. And I'm a repairs expediter for JetBlue Airways. The aircraft was always something I've been passionate about. Um, going into the military and being around you know, aircraft all the time, you, you develop a relationship with them, so to speak, and, and you want to continue that. And I think one of the draws for me to come to work for JetBlue is just to be back around those aircraft working with them again. A uh, typical day in my life at JetBlue is a lot of communication with our business partners and developing relationships with them. And we send stuff out for repair, uh, important parts that the aircraft needs to just to get off the ground. I do connect with a lot of veterans here at JetBlue and, and it, that's the reason why I wear my Vets in Blue pin. It actually symbolizes uh, you know, being a veteran and, and I look for other crew members that do have the pin and uh, that's the one way that we stay connected with each other. We're pleased to welcome Andy Bega to Hiring America. Andy is Director of Talent Acquisition and Assessments at JetBlue Airways. JetBlue says it's committed to employing military veterans, recognizing the special skill sets veterans bring to the table. Thanks so much for being here with us. It's a pleasure, thank you. Why is hiring veterans so crucial to the fabric of JetBlue? We really look to build a strategic partnership with uh, veterans communities. So we feel that veterans offer a great uh, culture fit for the work we do. Um, we're a very values-based organization and coming from the military we feel that veterans offer that values fit that's so critical for the work we do. Why is JetBlue so committed to hiring veterans? Uh, part of it is giving back to those who've really served us and so you know we're we're uh, proud to offer opportunities for folks who want to focus on service, give them an opportunity to continue to serve. Uh, that culture of service is so important to JetBlue. You know a lot of organizations have values up on their wall but it's something that we really live, principle-based values-based, and folks coming from a military background understand that. They get what that means. Um, and if you want to continue to have a connection to the organization you work for, that you really believe in the mission, uh, JetBlue is a, a great opportunity for you. So what are the opportunities that exist? What kinds of jobs are you looking for that veterans might be a good fit for? I think it's really across the board. So we have veterans who are in all functions of the business. So marketing, legal, IT, folks who are above the wing. Uh, we call that airport operations or below the wing. Uh, we call that ground operations. Uh, so the airport's role, uh, in-flight crew members, flight attendants, uh, safety is our number one value. Uh, when you're above 30,000 feet in the air and you know, something happens, uh, you want to make sure that we have a safe operation and, and veterans bring that, that safety first mindset. You see so many veterans that yeah. are applying for jobs at JetBlue. What kinds of mistakes do they tend to make that you observe? I think having a clean resume is always important. Uh, I think a lot of veterans actually limit themselves in terms of the roles they're looking for. Uh, so broadening uh, even the roles that you apply to is a critical part of, this, of the process. And it's not just about hiring and getting the job as you mm -hmm. leave the, the military. It's about maintaining those veterans and keeping them happy. So what kinds of things does the company do to make their transition easier once they get to JetBlue? We're committed to help serve the veterans community outside of just hiring. So uh, we're proud to say that we're the only airline in the New York area that has a USO uh, support centers so that vets who are traveling through T5 can uh, can take a break with their families and enjoy the amenities that that support center offers. Uh, we also have a Vets Connect program so that once you come into JetBlue, uh, you're not left to transition on your own, that you're paired up with another mentor from the Vets Connect community, so these are all internal JetBlue crew members, uh, to help with that transition. They, they can be a, a source of, uh, you know, helping them understand and navigate that landscape. JetBlue has a special relationship with the 100,000 Jobs mission as well. That's right. Our organization has exceeded target uh, wow. by quite a bit. And so we're proud of that relationship. It's a great partnership. And their mission really aligns with what we're trying to do is uh, make sure we get the word out that you know, we're hiring, there's great opportunities available, and help get veterans jobs that are good fits for them and their families. And this is so important to increase your initiatives because so many more service members are coming home over the next few years. Yeah, that's exactly right. We're, we're really looking to continue to, to find new ways uh, to get information out. So we love the partnership with Hiring America. It's such a great opportunity for us to talk about these roles and talk about culture, talk about values-based organizations, being able to provide a service to the community uh, and get the word out. Okay, Andy Vega, thank you for telling us about opportunities at JetBlue for veterans. Absolutely, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.